When people visit the region hardest hit by these earthquakes, they're struck by the size and scope of the disaster. And this area of the country is, is almost lost, it's, it's injured. Yeah, in, in some other disasters, it's a fraction, and even in that fraction, it's not like general. This earthquake is like off the charts. Jose Esker is Operation Blessing's on-site water engineer here. Right now, the solution is like bottled water, but not enough bottled water. So we are looking for solutions based on the local to purify water from the place. One of the first impacts of a natural disaster like this is on the quality of water. That's why Operation Blessing has this reverse osmosis system to take undrinkable water and make it safe. Esker shows CBN News the process of making the water safe. First, he takes some of the well water from this storage tank. Just to see the, the difference of the water. I mean, it, it has a lot of turbulence and also a lot of minerals. Calcium, definitely not drinkable. After measuring the contaminants, ESCO got a reading of over a thousand, indicating high contamination. It maybe has something like excessive minerals, excessive some metals even, and that is something that we are not going to let that happen on our watch. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go to the, the kitchen. In the kitchen, ESCO shows us how they take this contaminated water and make it safe for cooking and drinking. Afterward, he takes his instrument to measure again, and it dropped from over 1,000 to 50. This is the water from the well. Right now, if you open the faucet, you will have this particular site. And this is the one that comes from the reverse osmosis system. Yeah, and this is totally drinkable. I mean, I, I won't drink any this. <laughs> yeah, and, and be safe after. This, this is good. Contaminated water like this can have long-term consequences. Toxicals, metals, uh, even um, heavy metals has uh, damage in the organs for long years. Mm. And when you, you have some symptom, it's too late. Esker says major help is needed after a disaster of this scale. This is huge and it will need several years to restore. And I ask for all the people to continue to support this in a major scale. And he says prayer is vital. That is something for sure needed. What we do is, is to show the love of God through our actions. I mean, and that's the way we, we are doing right now. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, the city of Hatay, Turkey.